Hey everybody, welcome back to the A-Bomb Adventure Channel. And today I wanted to share with you guys a recent addition or modification that we had made to our Kodiak Ultralight travel trailer. And that is the addition of solar power. We're really excited about this. I think this is gonna kind of expand our available use of the Kodiak and um, open up some other opportunities in the future on some of these long haul camps that we like to take. Oftentimes when we're out west, let's say Colorado, Utah, Arkansas, a lot of those kind of places, they have a lot of campgrounds that are uh, like Bureau of Land Management type campgrounds where you can go and camp, but you have to be self-sufficient. So there's no shore power there, no kind of hookups, things like that. And we've always bypassed all of those types of campgrounds because I didn't feel that we had um, an adequate way to stay there for an extended period of time without running a generator. And that's not something that we want to do. We don't want to go camping where we have to run the generator all of the time. But that's why we got the generator in case we need it. We also got it in case we needed a Kodiak for uh, you know, storm outages here at the house. But we did have the uh, solar system added here to our Kodiak recently. It was installed by our dealership up the road, Carpenters Campers, and I think they did a fantastic job on the install. Everything looks good and professional. Uh, I'm gonna get up there on the ladder so you can see the solar panel and what it looks like, the install there. And I'm gonna walk you over here to the front storage compartment where they, at, where they uh, mounted up the solar controller and the inverter. All right, so let's get right to it. So the solar panel is mounted right there. We'll get up on the ladder so you can see that and see what the install looks like. And then so we've got the controller and the inverter mounted in our front pass-through storage compartment. So let's check that out. All right, there we go. So there's our solar charge controller uh, made by GoPower, or GoPower is the brand. And then here we have our inverter here on this side. It is a uh, Xantrex brand, and this is a 1200 watt solar system, okay? And I also wanted to point out, this kit that we had installed, this is the actual uh, kit that Kodiak installs on all of their Kodiaks now. This is an option, uh, the way they build them out. I believe you can order them with or without solar, but they come pre, uh, pre-wired and everything for this particular solar system. So. It was, a, uh, it was a pretty easy choice to uh, get this as a factory kit from Kodiak, and then Carpenters did the install for us, as I mentioned before. So that looks really good. Obviously, I had to clean, I had to take everything out so the guys could get in here and have plenty of room to work. Uh, but I think that's going to work out real nice. You know, it's very close here to uh, access the controller there. There we're showing the, uh, the voltage, and you can see the amp draw there as well. All right, and then um, the, other, the other part of the install, if we come around to the front right here, we now have two batteries. This was part of the kit right here. Now these are the uh, uh, lead acid type batteries and we have a disconnect there as well that they wired in. So the battery disconnect, what that will do is that will disconnect uh, power from the batteries to the inverter so that if we do not want the inverter pulling any kind of juice from the batteries, we just turn that disconnect off. So we'll go ahead and I'll reach down here. I'm gonna go ahead and turn it on. I believe it was that way there. Nope, I'm sorry, we'll go the other way. I didn't have it all the way on, there we go. All right, so turn the disconnect on. And then there's our inverter powering up. And what it's indicating is that it's actually hooked into shore power right now. That's where, because I do have the shore power, I have it plugged into the shop like I always do when we're home. So it detects whenever you actually uh, plug into the shore power and after a certain amount of time, it'll actually convert over to uh, pull juice from the shore power instead of the batteries and going through the converter. All right, but it does come with a, guy, a nice manual there so that you can go through there and uh, learn everything about the kit. The controller, you know, same way. It's got everything you need to know right there in the controller. And there we go. I'm gonna go ahead and turn this back off. Disconnect it from the batteries. I'm just gonna give it a check. And there it is. All right, so let's go up top and I'll show you what the solar panel looks like. Okay, so there's our 1200 watt solar panel installed. Everything looks good. I think Carpenters did a great job on the install. Uh, it's, everything's sealed up very nicely, so 
You see right here, we've got our wires going into this connection here. They've got it mounted down to the roof. Everything has been sealed up very nicely. We'll get you in there so you can see that a little better. All right, the brackets that they use to mount the uh, solar panel, it looks like some uh, rectangular tubing that they have, they have it rolled to match the, uh, the radius of the top of the camper here. And then it looks like each side is fastened in with three screws. This is a wood top underneath the uh, protective covering here. So they got three screws holding it down and then they've done a good job of sealing it on all of the joints there, sealed it in really well. This is all warranted too, by the way, by Carpenters. That's another reason why I liked the, um, the factory install there at the dealership. While it was in the shop, they went ahead and um, checked all the sealant locations. That was another thing I asked them to do. You can see some additional sealing around that vent there, across the front there. They touched it up on the back there as well. The other thing I had them do while I was at the dealership, this is a brand new canvas um, for the, uh, the awning itself. We were having some problems with little holes forming right up in here on our, uh, on our awning. So while it was there, I went ahead and had them uh, replace this at the same time as well. Just wanted to mention that. So anyway, I'm happy with the solar install. I think it looks pretty good. Um, the thing I am concerned with is damage if this thing gets into uh, some kind of hailstorm. But it's just one of those things I think you're just going to have to live with it, you know, and if it's damaged, it'll have to be replaced because we have been through one bad hailstorm, and uh, luckily for us, it did not cause any damage up here. So I don't really, I'm not really sure exactly how durable this cover of the solar panel is, but I'd imagine in a real bad hailstorm, it may get damaged, but that's just something that we'll have to deal with it if it ever does happen there. So we are limited on what all we can run using the solar system and the, and the juice from the batteries there. I'll begin by saying that we cannot run the AC. It doesn't have enough power to run the air conditioner. Now there are, I know there's other solar systems you can install that will give you enough power to run that. That's not what we were after. We were after the basic solar install that Kodiak provides here so that we can comfortably dry camp for two or three days if we choose to. Now, if we're in a place where it's extremely hot and we, run, we wanna run our air conditioner, then we're gonna have the generator for that. That's why I invested in a uh, nice Honda inverter generator to be able to use for situations like that. Also for um, if we have storm outages here as well. Uh, but getting back to the solar system, I worked with carpenters on the circuit that we hooked up to be able to run the camper whenever we're using it. And the circuit that we picked is gonna run the refrigerator, the television, the receptacle under the television, and then the receptacle on the slide that I showed in a previous video that we use to hook in our laptops and our phone chargers. So just the inverter and the power from the batteries will run all of that and keep us comfortable. And I imagine that when we're gonna be using this, when we're dry camping, it's gonna be in a situation where it's not extremely hot and it's not extremely cold. They did say that this will run the furnace, but you have to be careful about how much you run the furnace because it draws a lot of power and I believe it'll drain your batteries pretty quick. But you can use it some if you need to knock the chill off in the air and get it kind of comfortable in there. So uh, we're really excited about the possibilities, you know, and what this is gonna allow us to do. We've been, whenever we were out west, you know, last couple of years when we're doing our big haul, I was really excited about trying to find a uh, campground to do some tri camping but I just didn't think that it was in, it was in the cards for us at that time. Um, I didn't necessarily want, necessarily want to go somewhere and run the generator for a long period of time. Uh, so we opted not to go to any of those places. But now, whenever we're doing some of our future trips, we can take that in consideration if we want to pull off to some of these uh, Bureau of Land Management type campgrounds that's a completely dry campground and pull down in there and be able to just, you know, you know, run with the solar system for a night or two. I think that'll be a lot of fun. And there's gonna be other opportunities come up where we're gonna be doing, you know, the same thing. We're gonna be camping somewhere and we're either gonna have our generator or we're gonna be running off the solar system. That's a trip that's gonna be coming up very soon, actually, that I'm gonna be testing this uh, system out for the first time. And that is gonna be the Florida Flywheelers down in Fort Meade, Florida. I believe the show is the 23rd, February 23rd through the 26th. 
down in Fort Meade at the Florida Flywheelers uh, property down there. And I'm gonna be taking the uh, camper with me and I'm gonna be setting it up and we're gonna see how the system works and test it out for the first time. I'm gonna be doing some dry camping because the, uh, the camp area that I chose to uh, park the Kodiak at is just a field. There's nothing out there, but they allow you to run your generators 24 hours a day if you want. You know, do, do whatever you want back there basically and have a good time. So that's coming up very soon. And in a couple of weeks, we'll be heading down that way to enjoy the flywheelers and testing out our solar kit for the first time. So I think that's gonna be the end for this video. I just wanted to share the excitement of our, our new modification of the install of the solar system. And I'm looking forward to trying it, proving it, testing it, and seeing how this works and uh, help maybe help us out with some of our future adventures, all right? So hopefully you enjoyed and I will uh, check back in with you throughout the year and uh, let you know if we're having any problems, any issues with it, or maybe it's working perfectly like we hope it will and we have good news to share about it. All right, see you guys later.